this is the most expensive skincare prep that I bought and it better work because this is expensive. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum and Magic Cream Combo. A lot of the beauty influencers are vouching for the effectivity of this and this is, they say, one of the best. So I'm going to try it right now on my face. So this is my bare face with natural lighting and I'm just going to remove some of my extra oil using the Ecotools Volcanic Roller. So... Let's start with the magic serum. Just gonna do like. Hmm. There's like a distinct smell. And. Wow. It feels smooth on the skin. Texture is really nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I can't believe this is the most expensive skincare that I ever bought. This is it so far. Okay. Then to make it a bit more interesting, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base. I have a sample here on this side of my face and Magic Cream on this side. I'm adding Bobbi Brown on this test because last time I used this on my face, my makeup really caked. Like, it's not obvious on the camera, but it's really worse. So I'm just going to put this. And this is vitamin c based and it actually feels soft on the skin and it's very nice also um the texture glides well but let's see come on this is the texture it's gonna put like this one side oh it's thicker and kind of feels nice Oops. I also put magic cream on my neck, but this is looking good. Both actually feels nice. This is the Bobbi Brown and this is the magic cream. And this is glowing more on the side. And now I'm going to use a sunscreen. I'm going to put Round Lab. This is actually one of the best ones. And I'm going to add this on my routine because I don't really put sunscreen. Then this is the two fingers, and let me just spread this. Sunscreen done and dry, and my skin is skinning. Oh my god, it looks so good. Feels good too, and I'm really, really glowing. On to foundation. So the last foundation that caked on me is the combination of these two. I combined this because this is a bit darker, and this is a bit lighter. Plus, whenever I just use the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, it's really, really oily on my skin. So, I wanted to combine it with a soft matte. So, I'm just going to do one pump of each. So, one pump of NARS. I, that's two pumps, but two small pumps. And then, just a bit of this. This is how it looks. And I'm going to combine that together. For this one, I'm going to use my flat brush. I got this from a TikTok shop. This is also the Viral Flat Brush. So, let's see. Just gonna put this here. I think the shade's perfect just with that combination. And then a bit here, here, and here. And blend it with my Real Techniques brush. Let's see. Okay, this side looking really good so far. I really actually like this brush. This is really beginner friendly. I'm not an expert or anything, but just like fit right on my hands and like easy to use on my face. And on this side, just gonna continue blending this. Actually, why am I doing size? Let's see. This is no cuts at all. Also really looking nice. Even my eyes. This is how it looks. Last step is just sponge to absorb all the extra. This is after with a sponge. And my skin looks so nice. My skin or my foundation, my face looks like it's my real skin. I'm actually using a mirror to look at it really clearly next on my face, but yeah. Go to part 2 to finish this look.